Okay, guys, here's another one. Forms right here and it just stays there. Okay, it starts down here at June 3rd. Okay, June 3rd, and then it goes to June 4th. And a little bit faster. And on the visible satellite. And the water vapor. Now, quite a while back, guys. Quite a while back. I told you guys it is now possible to have hurricanes hit California because the weather is backwards not just here in the United States I watch over the United States and I keep my eye out on on things that are going on on the, on the rest of the planet but my main concern is the United States is where I live it's it, it's the, it's the continent I live on okay America but here you go guys hurricane in California now will it grow up and turn into a category one I mean will it move from tropical storm to category one I don't know guys I don't know I don't know that they would want to do that it would kind of expose themselves in a way if they did that I mean it would be quite evident that something's really really wrong with the weather if a hurricane hits California okay but it's just been sitting here guys for two days just right off of the coast of California now if anybody knows of another time when there was a hurricane or a tropical storm or a tropical depression sitting right off of the coast of California please link me to the pictures or the video so that I can see that because as far as I know that has never happened guys in history but that is a full-blown tropical depression at the very least and I think if I remember correctly the winds are at uh, 71 mile an hour so it's four mile an hour away from being a, an actual category one hurricane I love you guys pay attention to this storm guys I don't know if they're gonna develop it and make it stronger and stronger and stronger or if they're just gonna let it sit out there and, and flood California I don't know what they're doing guys but they're up to something and like I showed you in the last video harp has been active I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Get in the word. Stay in the word. Make sure that the word gets in you. That's the key point. It's the key part. You've got to have the word in you. Everything that is physical, guys, all the things that are perishable, they will perish. Okay? The word is not perishable. When the king speaks, the word is final. It will come to pass exactly the way the king spoke. Because when he speaks, the law is established. You gotta have his word. You gotta have his law in you. His word, guys. The, every word out of his mouth, every word that departs out of his mouth, is the law. That's the law. When the king speaks, it is law. Nevertheless, guys, here you go. Is it the hand of God, or is it the hand of God through a nation controlling this thing? You determine. I, you know, I don't know for sure that it ain't purely the hand of God but I know what man is capable of because I have the documents I've got the facts and I've got the proof so perhaps this is the hand of God through man but pay attention to the storm guys because I don't know what they're gonna do with it and it could turn out to be disastrous I love you guys I'll talk to you soon